Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Augustine from Ahead to Wellness and we have a special guest today, Valerie Godbout and she is a doula. She has her own practice and we will provide that contact information below the video in the contact area. So I wanted to introduce Valerie and it's a big deal, childbirth. We have seen um, childbirth go the wrong way many, many, many times. I'm a big advocate for natural childbirth. Uh, me, myself, we've had three children, not me and Valerie, but me and my <laughs> wife have had three children. And we had all three of them at home. We've done natural childbirth. It's been a phenomenal experience as opposed to a life-changing, stressful, massively horrible event. And therefore, one of the reasons why I advocate for that uh, natural childbirth. So, But I wanted to introduce Valerie to you because um, I'm going to ask her some questions just to inform you about childbirth in, in general and what is a doula and what is a midwife and all those good questions. So, Valerie, tell me what is it? What is a doula? What does a doula actually do? Um, first of all, first I want to thank you for having me today and bringing some awareness to our line of work. Um, basically, a doula is someone that. Um, give you informational, emotional, and physical support during the childbearing time, so before the baby arrives, during the whole labor, and then um, some hours after the baby is born. Nice. So what brings you to becoming a doula? Why did you want to become a doula? Um, I myself had four children, and my first two experiences, they weren't the best. Um, I went in taking some classes, but I wasn't as educated as I thought I was, I was and I kind of gave the nurses and the medical staff, uh, I thought they were going to be there to advocate for me and really help me to have a natural childbirth, but that um, didn't happen, and I found out that... Um, I should have had somebody else there to help me. I did have my husband and a friend, but um, knowing now what I know, I know that my birth would have been very different mm -hmm. if what, if I would have had a doula there. We kind of have some tricks in our little bag and we can help labor keep moving along and um, avoid some of the... Um, Complications, some of, maybe. Yeah, complications, or even uh, some of the medical staff, what they want to speed things along. There's different things that we can do to help labor to restart or keep moving um, as they're in the hospital. So childbirth isn't a disease, right, that needs to be in a yeah. hospital? Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, so you can do it quite well. Uh, in, in our case, when we investigated initially, uh, we were watching a program that was called A Baby Story, and every episode that we saw was a woman screaming and shrieking and sirens and hospitals and doctors, and oh, it was terrible. And usually, today's statistic is that one in three hospital births end in C-section. Mm -hmm. That's a major surgery to your abdomen, ladies, and so therefore, if there are ways that you can avoid it, wouldn't that be a good thing? Hence the reason that we're talking about this process. Uh, also, the reason that I'm involved with this is that I also love to take care of newborns. We take care of a woman pre-birth up until she actually has a baby. We have a procedure that we use that's called the Webster Technique, and it's actually some tweaks and fine-tunes that I've made to it, that we have a 97% success rate with the Webster Technique in turning a breech baby, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, but when we go through that process, and I always advocate... Um, doing uh, some sort of classes ahead of time that have to do with holistic health care regarding childbirth. So I like to really promote things like Brad, the Bradley Method, spinning babies was another one, hypnobirthing is another one that we did, and it really explains things really well about how to have the birth, how to develop yourself, how to prepare yourself for having birth so that there's no surprises because as you know, as that time approaches and you've never had a baby or you're on to your second baby, there's still that surprise, that worry, that concern, things may not go well. And in the process of trying to make sure that that goes the best that it can happen, it's great to have a holistic or natural childbirth process to educate you in the process and prepare your body for it. So um, can you give us some examples of some maybe some recent uh, 
uh, cases that you've been involved with that things could have been better, but maybe some things that went really well for you in helping these ladies to really have birth? Um, I feel the longer the mother stays at home, if they're not planning on having a home birth, if they're planning on going to the hospital, the longer that they can labor at home, the better it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. Because once you get in the hospital, they're on their time clock. They, a lot of times, won't let nature what nature needs to do. Mm -hmm. So if, they're, if you're not progressing as fast as they want, they're gonna start suggesting you know, induction, using Pitocin, or mm -hmm. um, not allowing you to move around as much as you want. So at home, you can do all those things. You can be walking, you can be eating, you can be drinking. A lot of times in the hospital, they're changing their rules, but a lot of times in the hospital, they don't want you to eat in case they're, they're, they need to put you under for an emergency C-section and stuff like that. So um, they're really strict on their guidelines. So the longer you can stay home, the better you're gonna do. And once you're in the hospital, sometimes just a transition will um, slow down labor, but once you get in there, um, to ask for you know a help lock instead of being hooked up to an IV so that you can move around and same thing um, monitoring intermittently not having the monitor on at all time mm -hmm. being able to walk is like one of the main thing mm -hmm. right allowing gravity to do what it needs to be needs to to do basically right. yeah see that's wonderful because I've been I've been in practice for thirty years and I've seen a lot of women who have been through childbirth horribly and have all kinds of terrible stories and so I always talk to patients and it's interesting the patients that I've seen over the years and then it's been so sort of they've, they've kind of grew up to that stage where they're moving into having children when they do have children and they're trying to think about doing it more of a natural way because here's the problem is that hospital births typically, you know, one in three chances of ending in C-section. That's not really good, major surgery. Uh, the complications, you go into the hospital, they immediately put a, an IV in which tends to dilute your pregnancy hormones. That's not good. Slows up the labor process. Laying on your back, right, putting all that pressure and weight onto the arteries that are supplying your uterus to create the contractions, that's not so good. <clears throat> As you know, going into a hospital setting tends to make you more stressed out anyway. Yeah. Therefore, you absolutely need somebody like Valerie <laughs> to try to calm you down. But I've, I've just seen the, the patients that have, uh, have been taken care of from a chiropractic perspective, neurologic perspective, throughout the process of pregnancy, as well as we talk about guidance and information on nutrition and diet and exercise, mm -hmm. sleep, reducing your stress, all of those things really do matter, ladies. And it makes all the world when it comes to be that time, and this is one of the things that I had mentioned too, try to absolutely uh, do everything as long as you can, keep it, stay at home as long as you possibly can, therefore that the doctor can just be like a catcher, <laughs> just catches the baby just as you go into the hospital, if you have to do it that way. Uh, when we had our babies at home, it was absolutely amazing. We had. Mm -hmm. A fireplace we had a fire going we had our dog there we had some nice music on it was just totally relaxed and pleasant and calmative and guess what happens the baby comes right so ladies if you can get yourself out of the way and let your body's design do its job the way it was designed to it's amazing what really happens very well we had a birth plan and certainly on the side of that the home births um, you have a birth plan and built into your birth plan is something where you can have a pre admittance to a hospital just in case. Mm -hmm. Also, it's nice if you're a midwife. What's the difference between a dual and a midwife? Can you talk about that? Yes. So, a midwife is actually uh, can play the role as a doctor. So, they can deliver the baby, they can um, do pelvic exam, they can see how far along, they can monitor uh, with the stethoscope, they mm -hmm. can listen to the heartbeat. So, a doula doesn't do any medical intervention. Um, we don't do any pelvic exam, we don't, we're basically waist up. Mm -hmm. So it's really for emotional support, physical support. Um, we're really the person, our main concern for us is the mom. And we're the only one in the medical team that is actually there just for the mom because mm -hmm. everybody else in the setting is there for the baby. I mean, for the mom also, but their concern about 
delivering a healthy baby and we're concerned that her experience will be amazing that her memory of her birth mm -hmm. will be everything she wanted even if it didn't go as planned even if she had to sway away from her original plan well we're there to comfort her comfort her the whole way like you're doing a good job and you're going to see your baby soon and relax and breathe you know working with the contraction and just really helping her be in that moment one contraction at a time and just wouldn't you also agree that in the moment when she's having contractions she obviously can't think as clearly as say you could mm -hmm. sometimes just your overseeing it all and saying you know what and you could speak to her gently softly mm -hmm. that maybe yeah. she should consider doing these things all for her benefit and certainly not to speed up the process because obviously hospitals run on schedules they're all on schedules and so therefore for, I think Valerie's advocating for the best benefit for both you and the baby mm -hmm. so doulas are awesome you, you you ladies really have to consider using a doula so we're gonna do probably a series of these because it is so important that you guys have an awesome experience and have wonderful healthy babies as opposed mm -hmm. to the babies that are born and they have ear, nose, and throat infections, and they have a whole bunch of horrible allergies, and you're always the pediatrician. Uh, the patients that we see, the ladies that we see, who've had childbirth, and we've taken care of the mom, we've taken care of the baby, guess what? They just don't have any problems. Everything tends to be fine with them. They're not always at the doctor, and they're not antibiotics and tubes and all the things that go along with that mess. So um, follow us on this process and on this journey, and you would learn a lot of great things. Valerie, I'm so excited that you're with us. This is going to be a, mm -hmm. a fun ride, and we want to provide you with the tools necessary to have awesome childbirth. Yes, birth so, the way you want. Exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. Anything else you want to add? Mm. I mean, I do have some statistics that maybe... Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to read them because I can't remember all. But just um, to give you a little bit more information about um, the percentage or the benefit of having a doula... Um, there is study that show that women that are using doulas, 25% um, shorter labor, 60% reduction in epidurals, 50% reduction in cesarean birth. That's huge. That's huge. 40% in reduction of using um, Pitocin, which is a synthetic hormones that they use to speed up the labor. 40% reduction in forcep use, and I know you could speak on that, mm -hmm. just, you know, the damage of using forceps for delivery. 30% uh, less requests for pain medication as well. So all these things are um, just benefits of having a doula. Even if the doula is just sitting there not even doing anything, there's benefit of having that calm presence in the room. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. As opposed to husbands being stuck outside in the waiting room and they're worrying and they're stressed out and yeah. all that sort of thing. So Valerie would be right there with you. It'd be awesome. So so that's it. I think we should end this because it's going quite a ways, quite a long, quite a long period of time. So we will continue this process and we'll have different topics because it's so, so important that you ladies can have a wonderful experience in childbirth and you'll have the healthiest baby on the planet. So that's it. Um, Dr. Augustine, Valerie, we will talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks for listening.